Well, I think obviously the field has been, you know, uh, dominated in most of the clinical guidelines and for quite some time uh, initially with uh, the Oncotype DX, you know, is playing a main role. And then as uh, additional like level one evidence has been coming online for prospective studies uh, such as Mind Act and other, you know, data that um, hopefully will report out fairly soon on these tests. Uh, the idea is that as us as medical oncologists are likely going to face a decision making process about selecting potentially from one or more um, assays in order to make an informed decision for our patients with regards to estimating their risk um, and also then by translation saying that those that are of low risk um, may safely forego chemotherapy whereas those that have an elevated or higher risk would likely require adjuvant chemotherapy in order to optimize their outcome. So I would see tests like MammaPrint, for example, when they have uh, validated and proven, say, their prognostic capability to identify a very low risk group of patients who essentially would not benefit from chemotherapy, the data is uh, increasingly supporting the capability of MammaPrint to identify those patients. And so it's not an insignificant portion that are coming out with MammaPrint low scores. That's about half of the uh, patients that would be tested. And that's a pretty large group uh, that could be spared toxicity from chemotherapy.